Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, Laura's got some I, questions. I'm Laura, and I have some more questions about the farm. Okay. I want to know how you cooked. You told me once you cooked on a wood stove or coal wood stove. Coal stove. And how did you manage? Like, if you wanted to bake a cake, how could you maintain the same temperature? I well, you were just forcing it and watched it. Uh, you fixed up the the um, burning part of the of the stove and kept the temperature the same and kept watching the cake pretty carefully to see it got through. But I made many of cake. And you had what? You had fresh eggs from your chickens and then you had fresh butter. Right. And fresh milk. Right. And then how did you get flour? You well, my dad would go to the mill with uh, his wheat or oats or whatever he was getting a bag for two of for the cattle, and he would bring home flour if we needed it. And what would be like a typical, did you have your main meal at noon? Right, we ate main at noon because Dad came in after working in, all morning in the field, and then he would go back out and work till dinner time. And what would the main meal consist of? Ham. <laughs> Ham, like ham, ring, ham. mashed potatoes, and you smoked your own ham. Right. Okay, ham and mashed potatoes, and uh, any kind of vegetable because my mother cans. She canned peas and beans and uh, tomatoes. So you just went down the basement and got a jar. And of course, in season, you went to the garden mm. and got what you needed: onions and rhubarb and asparagus. Um, Did you have bread with your meal? Yeah, homemade bread. Mm, delicious. And it was very interesting, really. And I didn't complain about it. It's amazing because, uh, you know, it was work when I had a door on school time. But and how did you get to school? Well, uh, at first, my dad had the Model T, and he went out in the woods between us and the school. And uh, he and the neighbor carved the trees, branches down, so that we could walk to school. You mean like when you were, what, eight, eight years old, little? Uh, I started school when I was six. So you walked through the woods at age yes. six? With Harry? With Harry. And how far was that? It was a couple miles. And yeah. In the snow, like they say? In the snow, yes. You did it then, too. And, uh, but you made friends when you got there that made it worthwhile going. And uh, Was there a school bus later? Like then in high later, school? they built a new uh, consolidated school, and they took all the little one-room schoolhouses, closed them, and gathered the students up and brought them to the consolidated school. But not everybody, like George, had to walk to the consolidated school because he was only one person on a bus, and they don't run a bus for one person. And when you were young and you went into Pittsburgh, were there streetcars or trolleys? Oh, or? lots of streetcars. Loved it. And also, my dad would take us to the uh, station, the railroad station, and oh, I loved that. Penn Station, right? We could see lots of... Um, there were steam locomotives, right? You're right. Yeah. Was that Penn Station? I don't know what it had a name. So Sam I don't know of any other one. I know that... And there was trolleys and... Oh, lots of trolleys. Well, what else did you do while you were there? Did you eat? I just walked with my mother and dad when they went to the bank. And my mother didn't even purchase things in Pittsburgh because they were expensive. We shopped in Trenton and New Kensington where they were cheaper quality. Well, you used to tell me about the ham sandwiches. The shaved ham? Oh, yeah. Isley's. Isley's. Oh, yes. Well, we went to Isley's uh, to get ice cream cones and uh, ham sandwiches. It was chipped ham. Didn't they call it chipped ham? Yeah, so yeah chipped yeah. ham. Chipped ham. And uh, they had would always have 
a big piece of ham on the board and then the machine ready to go and you came and wanted your ham, they'd chip it for you if they weren't busy. They would chip it for you right there. It is. Now you've made me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you eat at home? Well, you vegetables fresh out of the garden in the summer and fresh out of the basement in the winter. And uh, just about everything. There was well, very, go ahead. Very few things that my mother didn't can. You made donuts, too. You told me you made donuts yes. all the time. Tell me yeah. about that. Well, my mother would had a can. She had two cans. One was a donut can and one was a cookie can. And the donuts, she would, I would come home from school and she would, on the table, have a big breadboard and she would be rolling out the dough and cutting donuts. And then she would, when they finished. She didn't dip them in sugar, which I thought would have been a good idea. And uh, she would put them in the can and that's where she would keep them for quite a while. If she could keep Harry and I out of them. <laughs> and uh, cookies, same way. You go there and she has the board done and she's rolling out the cookies and uh, putting them in the larger can and uh, always had cookies available. Did you have well water at the farm? Did you have good water? We had a cistern because the mine took all the water from the creek where we used to get it. And uh, so my dad had a, a cistern made by the house and later one by the barn for the animals. And, uh, but it was good water and meant that we had it right at the sink available all the time. But before that, when the pump worked, my dad would have a bucket and he would fill the bucket with water and then he would fill a couple buckets with milk. And uh, that's how we got our groceries. And have you told them how you don't like milk? Did you already tell well, that I story? I tell anybody that pushes me that I was raised on a farm and one year the cows ate something that was not good. And so even my dad said that the food wasn't good. So I never drank milk after that. Didn't you say the milk kind of tasted like, what, onions or? No, it, it tasted like if you pulled out a flower or something out of the... Tasted like grass. Yes, yeah, it just wasn't good at all. And so I... I, I use milk now, but for a while I wouldn't drink milk. When he, had, when he made butter, did he make it in, in big round patties? How did, who made the butter? Did your mother? My mother made the butter. She and after my her. mother died, I made the butter. And you uh, put it in a churn, which was a good large churn that we had, and churned it till the milk separated off the butter. Then he took the butter out and patted it with a little paddle and uh, weighed it on the scale. And when it was a pond, you shaped it up and put it in paper, wax paper, to sell it to store when Dad went out. Uh, did he deliver it by car or by horse? By car. By car, by Yeah, yeah. he delivered eggs and in season, sweet corn and tomatoes and that sort of thing, oh. and butter. Tell about the Model A trunk that he used to deliver that stuff in. He didn't use the trunk. He used the trunk to bring home things from the mill. Oh, and it folded out. Okay. What would he get at the mill? Well, he would take... Corn? Well, I don't know. I'm Weed, I know. Maybe anyway, corn. he would take something to the mill and they would make it into flour, into food for the animals. Anything else you want to share before you wrap it up? No, that's more than you need to know. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Thank wonderful. you.